the water cycle. Believe it or not, but the water you drink today may actually be millions of years old. This is because the water on Earth has existed since the beginning of time and is constantly moving and changing phases. This happens through a process called the water cycle. Today, we are going to learn all about the water cycle and how it works so that we can protect our water and make sure there is plenty for future generations. What is the water cycle? Before we get into the details about this cool process, we need to know what it means. So, what is the water cycle? It is the path that all water follows as it moves around the Earth in different states or phases. Water in its liquid phase is found in oceans, rivers, lakes, and even underground. Solid water, or ice, is found in glaciers, snow, and at the North and South Poles. Water vapor is a gas, and it is found in the Earth's atmosphere. Water cycle stages. How does this process happen? It happens through four different stages called evaporation, transpiration, condensation, and precipitation. Let's talk about each in more detail, shall we? First up, evaporation. Evaporation happens when the sun heats up the waters in oceans, lakes, rivers, and other bodies of water. When the water gets hot enough, it changes into a gas. This gas then evaporates into the air. You can see this process for yourself if you leave an open container of water in your home or outside. Once it gets hot enough, it will evaporate. Next up, transpiration. Transpiration is the process by which plants lose water in the form of water vapor. Basically, it is the release of water through a plant's leaves and is similar to evaporation because that water vapor goes into the air. Condensation. Condensation occurs when the water vapor in the air becomes cold and changes back into a liquid. This is how clouds are formed. Can you guess what happens when there is too much moisture in a cloud? It rains. And if you want to see condensation as it is happening, look at your bathroom mirror after you have taken a hot shower. You will see lots of condensation. Finally, precipitation. Precipitation is rain snow, sleet, or hail that falls to the ground. And it happens when the air can no longer hold the water that has been evaporated. As we mentioned before, when clouds get too heavy, it rains. And the evaporated water makes its way back down to the earth. This precipitation will gather in bodies of water or underground and the whole water cycle starts again. Since we have a limited amount of water on our planet, it is important to take care of it. Here is an interesting fact. The water cycle is critical to maintaining and determining the Earth's temperature. Without it, the Earth's temperature becomes extremely hot or extremely cold which has a huge impact on both plant and animal life. Knowing how the water cycle works and how humans can protect it is very important to the future survival of the planet. So how can you help? Well, one of the best things you can do is to conserve water whenever you can. Whether that means turning off the faucet when you're brushing your teeth or taking a shorter shower. Every little bit helps. You can also talk to your parents about watering your lawn less during hotter months. 
Another way to protect the water is to keep it clean, which means no littering, especially in your local lakes, rivers, and streams. Here is another fact. The fresh water on Earth makes up about 3% of all the Earth's water and only about 0.3% of all fresh water is visible. Research by scientists reports that the atmosphere surrounding the Earth contains more fresh water than all the rivers combined. So, it is important to conserve fresh water whenever we can. Now that we have learned about the water cycle, let's go ahead and review some facts. Name two stages of the water cycle. Evaporation, transpiration, condensation, precipitation. True or false? The water cycle helps maintain the Earth's temperature. That is true. Fill in the blank. Only blank percent of all water on Earth is fresh water. Did you remember it was 3%? Nice work, water warriors. Whether you see it in the ground or feel it in the air, water is everywhere. And now that you know about the importance of the water cycle, you can see the stages happening all around you. The next time it rains, or the next time you see a foggy window or mirror, you can remember everything you learned about the water cycle. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.